Okay. Um, so a very good morning to all of you here. And I welcome you to the session on accelerators, incubation, uh, opportunities for students and faculties, early stage entrepreneurs. The session would mainly focus on giving you a broad idea about how to get support for converting innovative idea into a startup from any incubation center or accelerator. It would also give you an idea about the process or useful steps for getting incubated with useful information. So I welcome you all. And uh, we have our expert with us, Mr. Mahindra Gupta. Uh, before I invite Mr. Gupta, I would like to uh, request Dr. Sharma to say a few words, please, Dr. Sharma. Thank you, Dr. Mamita, and good morning to all of you. Uh, good morning, uh, Mahendraji, and I welcome you all. And we are really thankful to Mahendra Gupta ji for uh, sparing time to address these students. And I would like to tell you these are the students who have volunteered to participate in this uh, uh, three day training program. Some of them have, have participated in earlier training programs also. And uh, while interaction, you will come to know that uh, they are quite interested in uh, setting up their startup entrepreneurship. So in that context, uh, today's session, taking help of incubators, accelerators becomes very important. Because if you know that in India, there are a number of incubators uh, support available in different parts of the country. How we can take advantage of those and then uh, what are the processes and uh, if, if it is actually required or not, that is also very important because it is not always that we will require the need of uh, um, accelerator or uh, incubator. So these all aspects will be discussed. And uh, this three day program, we have kept it purposefully so that these all students are taking part in all these six sessions. So they are getting a continuous um, uh, uh, that kind of uh, knowledge or information training uh, over these three uh, three days um, during these three six sessions. That's why we thought we should have this three day continuous program. And in that series, this is third session and other session are also related. So this is the uh, we can see the advanced level of training in, uh, you know, in IIC, there are three other levels of training and this is the fourth quarter trainings and the fourth quarter training we expect that the students have developed some uh, um, proof of concept or prototype and now they want to take it further either with the help of incubator with the help of mentor or with some other support what kind of support and uh, uh, resources they require that's why this uh, we can say that these are now the early stage in entrepreneurs so at this early stage entrepreneur what kind of guidance support mentorship uh, by the incubator or otherwise would be required that I think you will be covering and you have a good experience also dealing with this kind of students. So thank you very much to all of you. And I request again to the participating students that make it as interactive as you can, as you did yesterday. You, uh, I was uh, watching that a lot of interaction was there, a lot of person answers, doubt clarification was there. In fact, that is more important than the, uh, than the, a talk or a lecture deliberation because when you have anything in mind you I you ask that uh, uh, frankly that will help you in a clarifying your doubts so with that uh, dr momita we can now start today's session thank you dr sharma thank you so uh, it is my pleasure to welcome today's expert mr mahindra gupta uh, mr mahindra gupta is the ceo of i nurture incubation foundation which is supported by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India, and ABES Engineering College, Ghaziabad. He is a mentor of change for the Government of India's flagship program of Atal Tinkering Labs, established by the Atal Innovation Mission, uh, Niti Ayuk. Mr. Mahindra Gupta has more than 15 years of experience in the field of innovation and entrepreneurship. He has served in various institutions as a key player uh, to set up the technology business incubator and innovation and entrepreneurship development center supported by the department of science and technology and ministry of micro small and medium enterprises his experience includes entrepreneurship and incubation ecosystem development in the institution universities and schools he has filed for two patents for designing of innovative table for infants and 
plate dispensing and counting machine. He is a certified management consultant from Department of Scientific and Industrial Research, Government of India, and accredited entrepreneurial motivational trainer by Naisbet Noida, which is an Apex Institute under the Ministry of Entrepreneurship and Skill Development, Government of India. Currently, Dr. Mr. Gupta is engaged uh, in Ministry of Science and Technology, Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Ministry of Entrepreneurship and Skill Development and others for the promotion and development of IPR, entrepreneurship and innovation activities. He is also a consultant for many small and medium enterprises and early stage startups to help them flourish and grow in today's highly competitive environment. So I welcome you, Mr. Maninda Gupta, to today's session and uh, over to you, please. Thank you, uh, Dr. Sharma. Dr. Das, uh, it was a pleasure. Na? It's always a pleasure to be the part of uh, Inu's program. Uh, not only because of uh, a world largest university, the uh, pleasure is because you have in a variety of programs, variety of students, uh, and lot number of community development program which you at the level you are engaged. <clears throat> so, uh, very good morning, everyone. Uh, Namaskar. Uh, what I'm going to cover today is uh, uh, the incubator, uh, the other you talk about the accelerator. But uh, the more important thing is now which stage you are, uh, whether it's required or not, whether uh, you only you know uh, looking to raise money, whether you only to you know, looking to be uh, you know, uh, for some marketing assistance and all. So there's a lot number of questions uh, among the entrepreneur and startup whether uh, this incubator is needed uh, or not. Second, if I look at the background of this business incubator sense in India, so we have uh, uh, now early stages journey, which is started in around in 83 with the name of Science and Technology Entrepreneurship Park, started the, uh, by the Ministry of Science and Technology, Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. And uh, with this note, you also need to be understand the world is way ahead. Uh, in fact, the U.S. has started their first incubator in 1950. And we started our first incubation and entrepreneurship or incubator kind of program in 1983. Uh, so you need to be understand the gap. You need to be, you know, you maybe realize that you know, how behind we were and what the current scenario. I guess I am able to share my presentation, sir. Yes, you can. Is it in full screen right now? Not, not in full screen. Okay. Yes, I guess it's now. okay now. Yes, it is now. All right. So I try to cover the background in this country uh, regarding the incubator and accelerator. I also try to cover uh, why uh, the incubator is needed. I also try to cover what kind of the assistance is available uh, in the incubator. And I also try to be understand uh, your current scenario, which stage your startup or your venture today. And what kind of the assistance is possible uh, or how to choose the best incubator in, in, in or the accelerator program in India. Before we move towards you know, uh, to understand the, the concept of business incubator, I wish to be you now understand uh, whether you know about this value of death or not. How many of you are aware about this valley of death, death concept? Yeah, please, Karan.
Karan, you can speak. So basically, it might refer to the point where a business starts incurring losses and are not even able to recover the input cost. No, this is this we call a break-even point. So I try to understand uh, what's the break, you know, what is the value of death? All right. So one important thing. The startup is a is a new word uh, in India, which is you know which is uh, came in a, in a, in a society in uh, January two thousand sixteen. Uh, but prior to that, uh, we do not aware about much aware about the startup word. People uh, uh, only know about uh, you know entrepreneurs. People only know about the venture, enterprise, and other terminologies. But people do not understand or don't know about this. Uh, or this word is not too familiar with the uh, in this community so because we are now well understand what startup means we are now well understand uh, we need to be create how we need to be create uh, the startup rather than any kind of a you know, factory any kind of the trading enterprise or anything else so i believe uh, no, uh, that you all know about the startups and this concept which is a uh, lies around the startups which you call the valley of death the valley of death is a concept where when a person uh, you know start uh, thinking about an idea now the idea is you know converting uh, into the new innovations when they are converting the innovation there are several micro level interventions are there several scientific you know, uh, you know arrangements were there several kind of you know uh, success and failure happening in the proof of concept development and then uh, at the stage when they come within a full fledged first product uh, they try to move the product in the market so look at then in the bottom where the value of death is mentioned what happened in general scenario what happened in general scenario the startup do not able to cross the value of death means from the ideation to product development and to the market level means that startup is not an individual person entrepreneur is not able to convert the idea into the prototype into the product and create a you know, product market fit as you have discussed yesterday and not able to sell the product in on, on a timely so what happened in this case they are stuck in this journey and they do not mobilize a sufficient amount of fund they do not able to generate the revenue and value of death and they die in a, in a over a period of time so this value of death is actually uh, where the entrepreneurs is not well aware about the society entrepreneurs is not well trained entrepreneurs is not you know, uh, able to mobilize the funding able to mobilize the resources and they are not moving ahead as faster as and they stuck in this you know, valley of death they died that's why we generally you know, uh, heard about this statement out of 10 eight startup died why what does it mean it does not mean that the startup is not able to raise fund it means that a startup is not able to mobilize the resources the fund is one kind of resource only right so startup is not able to mobilize the right funding uh and because of variety of reasons so incubators is actually working in this typical uh you know situation where the startup chances of failure is too high so you can understand that what is the importance of incubator for any startup who is actually a non-profitable who is actually not taking any kind of you now uh direct or the indirect benefit primarily and supporting the entrepreneurs to become to launch their first venture so the incubators is actually working in a very crucial area which you call the valley of death and their program support assistance uh, and all the things which is available inside the incubator is actually helping the startups entrepreneurs to cross this valley of death as soon as possible so all the concepts all the resources and all the fundamentals are actually lie between in this 
damage and where uh, the startups is actually started a venture and they are you know, in a trouble. I guess you people understand this. I request everyone to please, you know, reply so that I could understand. Thank you. Yes, sir. You can extend the concept of value of Zip. All right. <clears throat> now, with this uh, concept, you can also understand the the accelerator program. So now look at this break even point, the dotted line. Uh, after this dotted line. The accelerator program is actually designed when a uh, startup is actually cross the pre-revenue stage. They are generating revenue, early stage revenue, and then they want to scale their business. So the accelerator program helps them to be bring the right scalability mentoring and funds for scalability. So their program mm -hmm. Program are designed for acceleration of any uh, uh, enterprise, and they only choose the enterprise which generate the at minimum pre revenue or able to you know reach into the market with product and other information which is required for anyone to buy. Correct. It means they are they validated their business well. I have. I hope I have made some sense in this slide. Now, one another thing you need to be understand. This slide you now is which we also call the hockey stick model, where in the early stage, where the incubators, the startup is inside the incubators, is uh, developing a product, testing the project, product research over the product, research over the customer, and all, and uh, they want to. Oh, you no, know, go to the market, test the, their product. And the other side, when they are looking for scaling their business, they are looking for the mega funds, which is only you know, which is available inside the either with the uh, venture capitalist or with they are looking for someone who can help them to be scale their business in the sense of market, in wow. industry connect, in the sense of globalization. So what happened when they reach to the accelerator or no, uh, gain some money, resources which help them to be scaled. Their business is actually grown in a in a forty x in a thirty x, and that's why this this line is actually the exponential, which you call the exponential growth. Shivam, you want to say something? Yes, sir. Hello. Yep. Sir, I want to share my startup idea with you, sir. I guess. Uh, um, your idea would be no. Uh, I am happy to listen to your idea, but after this meeting, because a one to one. Okay, sir. Sure, sir. Right. And uh, Shivam, you please keep your ma mic unmuted. Also, the students. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, Dr. Gupta. Just wanted to say that the students uh, should keep their mics uh, muted, and whenever I'm they sorry, want. Sorry, That's all right. No issue. Just a general announcement. Thank you. Yes, please, uh, Mr. Gupta, please. Thank you. <clears throat> so now, this uh, this lines and the graph help you to be understand which stage you are and where you have to move. If you are in a very early stage, uh, you have to move in an incubator where you require the early stage seed support, where you require primarily assistance, where you require certain primary training and programs which help you to be generate your first product and the accelerator you may move to the accelerator or any good accelerator program where you get you now international market access where you get the international funding or mega funding or large factory setup or anything which is which help you to be scale your business is this only the uh, this is only the basic difference between a business incubator and the accelerator in sense, they both have the similar kind of the resources, but their uh, niche, their uh, scale, their uh, network is a bit, bit larger than the incubator size. So incubator generally 
work nationally, regionally, uh, no, or the uh, nationally, but the accelerator to work nationally and beyond. I hope I, I make sense to you about difference between accelerator and incubator. Please reply back so that I could understand that you are understanding the concept. Yes, sir. The differences are very clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. It's clear. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Now, I am primarily focusing because you all are the early stage starters. So I am primarily focusing uh, on the parts of the incubator site. Now, look at this this entire slide where how an incubator is coming in, 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 into the picture and uh, how they actually bring the research innovations in their programs. So, actually, we all understand that research and development. We have seen the research and development. We know there are a large number of R&D laboratories. So these laboratories develop, uh, do the research, which is which is not directly able to be commercialized uh, into the market or not directly used by any, you know, uh, used by any you know, user. So research and development converted into a technology package technology package converted into a application and that application is solve the purpose of someone's need into the market and that's why uh, they're looking for someone who can you know mobilize or uh, carry forward this application uh, solution to the society so there is a two, you know, uh, two thoughts to be commercialized. Any technology which is developed in, in the inside any laboratory, one is they, you know, transfer their all know-how about the technology to any existing company, and that company produce you know, a product using the similar technology, same technology, and hand over to the user. Correct. This concept we already know. Now the another phenomena is, let's say, see, India is a country where we are largely involved in a, either in a applied research or in a, uh, uh, which you call the innovation side or frugal innovations. We are very weaker in sense of development of, you know, in, in the domain of research and technology portions this is true to be accepted but we are very strong in the frugal innovations in the you know uh, applied research now if i look at this concept this this understanding about our own country how this uh, strength of us can produce a large number of startups here so people who like us like you who are actually studying in any college in any university and they have they are doing you know, their projects they are doing their uh, uh, internship and during this process they come to an, an idea because you know, for making an idea for generating any application you need not require to do a large you know, core research you just need to be doing applied research you just need to be required minimum facility for conversion of your idea to a first version of your product. So what happened when you do this, you have you now find out a potential around your innovation that is the potential of business. So uh, when you find out the potential of business, you you may, may might have a thought or people have thought that why could not, why should not I you know, uh, convert I sold out this uh, innovation into the market and make the money. So this is this is the primary thought comes to someone's mind. Thought about the people say that I want to become the entrepreneur because I want to be in a create a job or anything else. Is 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 I do not believe largely, but the large per se is uh, you are the innovator. Uh, you are doing lot number of innovations and applied research and. In certain innovation, you find out there is enough potential of business. So you are looking to be start the business. Because now, 
because you are a core innovator you do not know about the you know, business portion of it you do not know that how to you know draft a proposal for business how to be do how to do marketing how to do financial calculations how to do product packaging thus you required someone who can help you out so and you directly want to carry this or uh, 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 by your own to the society now when this thought comes in a mind you are looking someone who can help you out who can help you to be carry your innovation to the user side now in this journey uh, if you look at in your academic institutions if you look at any universities if you look at any uh, you know educational programs so the educational programs and education infrastructure educational ecosystem is actually allow you to be do uh no number of research research paper writing but they do not have sufficient thought process and vision to be for business or for doing any kind of business because they in their self is an established uh, for a social cause so their people's mindset in a large do not you know for you no know, help you out for a business and they have certain you no know, limitations they have certain administrative controls they have certain other thought processes thus the student is looking for a special purpose uh, you no know, vehicle where they can easily start uh, their venture easily you know do all the things in a business sense which is which is help which help them to be you not know, transfer their innovation into a product and product to the or the user so the the concept comes which is called as a business incubator and business incubator is actually comes from the this word comes from the medical industry so you might have seen uh, incubators in a in a hospitals so what happen um, can someone say and uh, tell me what happened in a hospital with this incubator uh, sir in that uh, incubator a uh, baby uh, baby is uh, can you speak bit louder vineet uh, sir uh, i am trying to uh, speak louder but uh, my microphone is uh, missing uh, right now okay just hold on Yeah, carry forward. Carry on. Please. Sir, so, uh, incubator is a uh, uh, equipment where a newborn baby is uh, hold for some time uh, for the uh, health precautions uh, uh, separately from the other babies for uh, pro uh, providing nutrition and the uh, save uh, from the infections uh, for uh, newborn babies. Hmm. Okay. Anything else which is uh, uh, no. uh which is not mentioned in this slide pardon sir anything else you can add uh no sir right now i have just uh, this too much uh, idea sir all right <clears throat> anyone else wants to add something what the was the incubator in a hospital what it what it does do actually uh sir it uh, gives external external support to the baby to who has just born very good so uh, every baby is kept in the incubator not always not always okay then then how we how we decide that which baby has to kept in the incubator maybe uh, is uh, unable to take proper uh, breathing by himself or herself correct correct there are some certain symptoms are there doctor decides to keep it correct correct all right very good so you have added the uh, several points uh, jagannath ji one is a doctor decide correct this is a very important point second you said the uh, they have certain challenges shivam you want to say something yes sir mainly it is used for premature baby uh, whose vital organs are not developed so they are put into incubators to give them an extra support for life 
very good very good it means any any newborn baby which is not able to survive in a natural environment and they require certain other support system to be you now uh, to be survive in this natural environment they kept to the incubator and uh, i'm adding a special thing not always for a certain duration which is decided by the doctor or uh, which is suggested by the doctor and that duration may be hours that duration may be days that duration may be months or the years one so the so similar happen in the ecosystem or or entrepreneurial ecosystem to people or the, along with the enterprise see uh, there's another things to be understand that who we are capturing in the into the incubator the entrepreneur or the enterprise whom we are keeping in uh, in the business incubator the entrepreneur or the enterprise 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 so entrepreneur what what entrepreneurs uh, is related with the incubator or how the entrepreneur is related with the incubator sir please parent of enterprise yeah shubham sir i think entrepreneurs are like parents and the firm is like a child who are put into incubators <laughs> uh see the, this is not uh, 100% true let's say uh, i give you an example and and then you understand let's say you are uh, 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 a student of you uh, know uh, let's say a uh, second year in a, in, a, in, a, in any program any edu education program <clears throat> and your forefather never did any kind of business right you never and uh, happened to be in a sit any kind of the shop enterprise of the factory never ever seen it and you have seen that your forefathers are engaged in a, either government job or the private job or anything else so you would you would you have uh, all the symptoms to be an entrepreneur might be no correct and see if you do not have the symptom of entrepreneurs your attitude is not like an entrepreneur what happen you are not, you are taking the enterprise as a project only so the project has a duration enterprise do not have any duration it's like long it's transfer from one generation to another another generation so what happen we on board both the things and for any incubator for any investor the the founding team the founder co-founder or the entrepreneur other person who are who is starting the enterprise who are the starting the enterprise are primarily important than the what kind of a business you are going to be do what kind of the enterprise you have and we have firm believe uh, that enterprise may get failed product may get failed people do not accept your product your product may not have the, all the features and this happened in a past too but the entrepreneur never fail the entrepreneur always doing something or always doing uh, the work which help them to be you know, uh, progress so we as a incubator one side where we are looking uh, the changes in a enterprise suggesting the uh um, no recommending the uh, support system or the you know no corrections in a enterprise and product size product site we also you know uh, helping the individuals to be correct their behavior their attitude and uh, you know so that they could be you know convert their image as a student as a job job seeker to as a entrepreneur as a leader so we are not only focusing the innovations we parallelly focusing the who is doing the innovation i hope i make something uh, the things clear to you all shivam
Yes, sir. Oh, great. <clears throat> now, so what happened in an incubator system? Uh, so you understand this, no? Like, so what we are trying to do, we are helping uh, early stage, you know, young people, providing the platform uh, to launch their enterprise, to launch their product, help them to be okay. So what Deepak, what is not clear? The incubator concept. All right. Yes, sir. I I'm I'm repeating again in a in a different manner. One large incubators are placed in uh, academic institutions. Large incubators. Means 99.5% incubators are inside the academic institu institutions or aligned with the academic programs, universities. When the 5% are 1% uh, uh, incubators in India and around the world are uh, run by, you know, uh, established in a, in a uh, private mode. Otherwise, they are engaged with the you know, academic programs. Why? Because they want to be captured the young youth having a large energy, potential, innovation, innovative ideas, and they have enough a number of time too. See, a person who is uh, at the age of you know, 35, uh, already having certain job, it's very difficult for them uh, to you know, leave the job, quit the job, and start a new venture, join the incubator programs, which is very difficult. But uh a person who is uh already studying they have enough time they have enough potential they have enough energy to be spent on their any innovative ideas and important part they also have a strong team you know because this is an age where you have a large number of friends around you so you can build a good team at that point of time but what happened when you cross uh, uh, or you you leave the university, you started a job, and down the line five years, if someone come to you, you may have a good skill, but you definitely you do not have a team. Definitely you do not have courage to take that risk because you are earning a good money in there and uh, start the, your own venture. So that's why the and another part because you engage in a routine job cycle. You are doing the work which is assigned by your boss. You are your creativity is actually declining. So all the best symptom is found when you are studying, especially in first year. Uh, you have a good creativity. You are ignited to be do something, and because you recently joined the engineering program or any any uh, program, you you have certain vision to be achieved. That's why. The incubator programs are are placed uh, inside the universities or any academic institutions, so that uh, in a in a nine to five or in a nine to two, you are the student and parallel with you also a a co-founder and startup. And if this is successful, if you get succeeded in this uh, 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 no, incubator program uh, uh, as a student startup, you may not be looking for job down the line you're completing your degree or your graduation you may be offering job in the third year you may be offering now uh, internship in a second year and maybe you are hiring people go for your you know your innovations uh, uh, your new products and and many things so this and see another point another thing is if you start a venture uh, at the age of 22, 23, 24, you have a you know, ample amount of time to be, you know, grow faster, bigger and bigger and bigger. So at the age of 30, 35, you may have I mean, multiple number of companies where you engage as a director, as a co-founder, founder, as a shareholder and all the things. So you are you are not growing you are 
you are growing speedily as rocket so that's why this this is actually the uh, concept program placed in the incubator uh, in a, in acad second so incubators are inside the academy programs engage with the academy programs allow the students early stage innovators to be convert their innovations their product to commercialize their product into the society and so ultimately society get benefited out of it you will start delivering the the you know uh, products to society you start contributing in a economy you start contributing uh, to reducing the na uh, employment because we are the large population country we are looking for people to be become the self employed we are looking for people to be uh, no no become the job provider rather than the job seeker thus uh, you are directly contributing to the nation's development and this is the ultimate purpose of uh, you know, of the incubator now in this in, inside the incubator the incubator one understand the one important portion incubator is not the physical the boundary walls the infrastructure does not create the world class enterprise and i can example some of them to you philips is a company which you know very well start in a garage patni computer system is a start in a one flat so the incubator is not mean by a world class infrastructure but uh in a parallel i also say that the incubator infrastructure must have certain innovative feature so that is attract to work right is attract to be you now to generate to people to be become more creative right so the incubators uh, helping any early stage innovation i'm coming to that uh, deepak i will answer this so incubators provide early stage support early stage you know uh, assistance for any individual and startup in both the angles one side is in a behavior and attitude side so that uh, individual could comes in a, in a, in a image of uh, the entrepreneurs and as leader along with shaping their idea into the proof of concept they are you know uh, prototyping their product and then engaging the customer for validation and so that they could be ready to be launch their product full fledged as a commercial all right so india has uh, today around the 1000 plus incubators it may be supported by dst it may be supported by uh, department of biotechnology you understand the dst department of science and technology uh department of uh, no and now the state government also started their own you know uh, programs where they uh help the you know academy institutions to start the incubator so every state government has the starter program incubator program to support the incubators and uh, the the startups directly or through the route of the incubators correct so with this uh, thousand plus incubators are counted but if you initially go that uh, actively directly contributing uh maybe 700 800 incubators which are directly or indirectly contributing to the society 2000 uh, 200 300 incubators are still ideal they are not performing as per the expectation of the institution or the society so but 700 800 incubators are doing something high in this ecosystem 
Now come to the part, what incubators provide? What kind of assistance they provide? So you primarily think about what kind of business you are uh, going to be start. Or if you can think about that, let's say you are going to start a business. You want to start a business. What kind of support you require? So in general, the student directly ask or the innovator startup directly ask that will uh, we get the funding or not? So primarily, which I have seen in a in a out of you know, uh, my own experience, that startups are first thing they ask, they ask, would I get the fund or not? Would you provide a seed money or not? So in typical, the any enterprise when you are going to start an enterprise. The funding is not the primary for you know, for part of you know, uh, joining any incubators because uh, you may know about the concept which is called the bootstrap. Can anyone tell something about me the, about the bootstrapping? Yes, no. Uh, job, koi bhi. A business of Nashuru Kata to open a family or friends ki saita se karakarta to sko bootstrappy. Family and friends ki saita se karakarta. Anything, anyone else? Yeah, please. Mirel. Using the person's own money, savings. Okay, using your own money. All right. So bootstrapping means when uh, this concept is actually comes from uh, uh, no, uh, racers. Now, uh, you have a need? So uh, bootstrapping means uh, refers to the practice of starting and growing business uh, using minimal external uh, resources. Uh, uh, like uh, it involves uh, personal savings revenue generated by the business and the creative strategies to fund and operate the startup service. Correct. Uh, you're perfectly all right with the, the moment you use this word called resources. So fund is a one resources. You've never taken any kind of you know, support, uh, money and the infrastructure from anyone else and started your own. So yes, bootstrapping uh, actually comes from this you know uh, word actually comes from uh, uh, athletics right so if you look at the athletes they, what they do they actually uh, when they start running they have to tie their you know, shoelaces properly and start running so bootstrapping is actually you tie your shoelaces and start running without waiting for the someone else will come help you to do this Correct. Now, uh, when people think about only the money is needed, then they clearly show that that uh, they are much greedy about uh, their intent. Intention is not clear, right? Please, uh, no, uh, understand this word which you call the intention and intent. Correct. So your intent. Uh, may be good but your intention may be not good right so your intent is to be create a world class product but your intention is to raise enough uh, the money which is available in all the governments correct so intent and intention this both is 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 a need to be transparent in your mind whenever you are trying to raise to any incubator maybe your enterprise do not require the money Maybe your enterprise is required a right strategic partnership only. I'm working with uh, several number of companies here in India and abroad. And uh, what I have found that people uh, in an upper layer, they are looking for uh, the right partnership. And today, you cannot grow in an in a isolation. You need the uh, right partnership. Uh, from the industry, you need the right partnership from the government. Maybe you can reach to government and ask. You do not require any money. You just require your support to be test your product in a government you know, premises. So I give the some of the examples. 
one of my startup who is built on uh, a product uh, which uh, for the lpg cylinders so you have seen that lpg cylinder has a you know, black ring rubber ring and each time when the cylinder reaches to the refilling their ring is changed correct so they required a machine which is which change the ring in a certain seconds or means uh, uh, the machine's arm is actually um, uh, you know pick the ring you know throw it out and also install the new ring now let's say someone created this innovation he need to be test that into a you know uh, assembly line into the you know a cylinder fitting line who can allow this can this uh, gas filling is actually controlled by government so you need to be raised to psus you need to be raised to the government and maybe government is the psu is not giving any kind of funding but they if i they provide you partnership they help you to be do this this is a mega support you are so you need to be clear that the funding is not primarily for uh, any startups to be look at yes i'm not denying that the funding is not required but if only you are looking for the funding you may be you now find the difficult to be get the right value proposition inside the incubator all right coming back to the incubator person you have any query here till now no query all right so what kind of the support and services generally uh, provided by an incubator so incubator primarily if we get fun without other support of knowledge it will be societal uh very true very true thank you namita so what generally provided by uh, an uh, no, incubator so incubator provide uh, uh, office spaces which they claim physical infrastructure they provide the prototyping facility because uh, there's a many products uh, means uh, there's a large many startups who are building the physical product right so they required machineries they required uh, uh, technical assistance they required people who can do this job work for them they required designers so design their product build their product so they required a prototyping facility which in general we call it fab lab right they wants to be do certain research literature survey and all so library support the you know literature assistance the uh, is connected with the incubators uh of course funding is there they also require certain training workshops certain boot camps certain you know uh, meetup programs means different kind of learning programs which help them the startups to be learn fast and this is the responsibility of incubator authority to be sense what kind of program they need to be designed to sense that what kind of the startup they are coming uh in their geographical area and another important thing uh all the incubators cannot support you know, uh, any all, all kind of the enterprises so the incubator itself need to be find out the their own niche then incubator need to find out the uh what their strength let's say for example if someone comes to me and say uh, sir i am building a technology for animal husbandry and i do not have an exposure as a ceo of this incubator in this domain my institution do not have any resources uh, to be serve this startup my faculty members my mentors do not have any kind of expertise in this domain would i able to be on board this startup i guess no i'm not able to be on board startup i should not on board this startup because i'm not really contributing any any value in this startup because my resource my strength is not matching with what they are expecting 
So each incubator has certain thirst areas. And over this thirst area, they have uh, mentors, they have infrastructure, they have you know, machineries to test, validate their product, and they have all the niche litigations which is required to be solved for this startup is inside the incubator. So let's say NDRI Karnal, their niche area is dairy technology. So they are you know, uh, very easily can help any startups to be you know, uh, in a dairy technology or the agri tech or the agriculture domain. Uh, let's say uh, talk about, uh, yeah, Ashish. Sir, NDRI Karnal, you are talking about, uh, you are asking, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Haryana one? Yes, Haryana. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm aware about that one. Uh -huh, sir, okay. Okay. So, NDRI technology, and if you talk about the PUSA, they are also in an agriculture domain or they are in a hotel management domain. So, any anything which you are developing, any, any innovation, any product related to hotel management, maybe they can serve you better, right? If you talk about the Cobotex, so maybe the IIT Delhi, uh, just wait. So let's say you have any product in the veterinary, you may talk con contact to the IVRI Bareilly. They have, you know, the entire veterinary research. If you are building any chemical product, you may talk to the National Chemical Laboratory. So the people who is in a niche in their own thirst domain, they can help you to build their, you know, innovation uh, niche and 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 a, and a, and a beautiful. Second, uh, so sorry, Dr. Gupta, uh, Namrata has asked a question in the chat box. One second, Namrata, can you are able to speak? Hello. Yeah, Namrata. Hello. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, uh, sir, actually, uh, I just wanted to know how to find that uh, incubators working in our startup areas, like uh, mine is a startup in uh, uh, service-based product, and it is basically a little bit social enterprise style. So I just wanted to know from where I can get this, this information that these are the incubators who are working uh, to support people like us and who are working to support these startup uh, ideas. So I just wanted to know this. Right. So you can visit to see, I as I already shared about the DST's incubation program, Mighty Incubation program, they all have central databases on the websites. In fact, you can also visit the DPIIT portal where the incubator information is there. Their thirst area is mentioned over there. You can easily get it. One. Second, okay. if you are you are you know, not building a product or any service, which does not require any specific thirst area. Let's say ki you are building an e-commerce portal. Right. Correct. Okay. So the for right. building any e-commerce portal, any computer institute can help you better than any you know, uh, uh, and the incubators. Now, right. uh, this well, certain areas which are very generic in nature. ICT is very generic in nature. But now, hmm. if, if you are looking to build a product using the AI ML, it means you need a certain incubator where their machinery is available. They are, uh, which you call the G, G suit is available, where now uh, GPU is available. Correct. Mm -hmm. Let's That's say you are it. building a product for AR, VR. So you need to be find out that uh, any incubator having AR, VR facility, software and hardware can only help you. Okay. Correct. Yeah, right, sir, right, sir. So basically, we will have to research on it that uh, uh, on all the aspects, right? Correct, correct. So uh, if you are not uh, uh, building a product, I'm again saying that if Namata, if you are not building a product which are which involves a, a deeper research in the technology sense, you may join any incubator because by and large, if I supporting uh, now uh, a higher level of you know, uh, I'm an engineering institution, so I can help you for any computer science related product, for any right. electronics product. So you need to be under under identify that what kind of academic institution this is. Thanks. Right, okay. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Oh, 
all right so uh, this incubators is uh, is provide fundamentals you know uh, of the you know, laboratory mentoring funding now uh, when i say the funding so the incubators is actually generally provide uh, see those having government assistance only it may be your university can create a pool of fund to support the startup and this fund could be provided to the their own students and maybe to the, any any innovators open to society since uh, there is enough uh, there are certain incubators which is designed only for their own universities why let's say igno started their program incubation program uh, for their uh, their you know, their own funds right uh, so what happened igno let's say igno created a 5 crore rupees of seed fund so igno try to be disperse this amount to igno's student only but if i igno raise 5 cr from department of science and technology then igno open this innovation program to the entire so there is a certain innovations and incubation program which is very specific for their, their own students and if you are get funded uh, by any national public money so you definitely open the innovation program incubation program to the entire nation we here in abs i will show you the entire case as an example as a case study of the incubator so you better understand how we have built our own model okay uh all right so uh, what happened so their funding is depends upon uh, their you know kind of you know fund they raise actually incubator raise actually but what kind of seed money they provide so incubator provide the seed money from rupees 1 to uh, 10 lakh rupees 20 lakh rupees up to 20 lakh rupees under the several government schemes and programs i will cover this in my next slides so which factor uh, in all these support and services you feel that's most important one can you even answer means out of uh, five which factor is more important for you Funding. training and development training and development vinay ji thank you so training and development okay. and providing funding support training and development funding support very good yes. technical and business mentorship i guess without this mm. we... very good laboratory support oh, laboratory support laboratory support from my side all right namrata is the legal and financial knowledge very good now look at look at the same right see everyone has his own requirement correct so you have to be find out that uh, uh, which is your primarily uh, and that's why you are joining this incubator correct let's say uh, you are joining uh, ndri karnal not because of funding because of their product validation laboratory assistance you are joining the you know the abs because of funding maybe you are joining the abs because of you know, niche infrastructure and easy to be access so there is a geographical reasons so there is a lot number of you know uh, people here in exist in a market they are looking for their uh, niche service which is available in a you know incubator and if the incubator solve it then they join the incubator so you people choose the incubator in this manner only very good so all is important we cannot leave anything in fact uh, of industry networks to support the incubators support the startups in fact we also started a program which we uh, which called the co incubation program i come to later so what is the incubator model and processes in journal so incubators has you know uh, three processes one is which called the entry second is called the maturity and third is called the exit process so one is how we now uh, select the startups 
so they, we have to be defined a selection process for every incubator has own selection process every incubator has own process to be trained groom the uh, the startup and every incubator has own exist exit process or graduation process for the starters right so what is happening in this look at in the bottom you this is a general typical slide i have shared with you but you know look at the bottom size slide site you find that the mentoring needs and decrease gradually so the moment you are, let's say you started the venture today you may have a lot number of questions today but down the line this is declined so your mentoring requirement is declining down the line and if this is not happening it means you are not learning and you are not growing second is your business risk is decreased so business people do not want to do business because a huge amount of risk engage in it correct so business risk should be decreased down the line and that is a whole sole purpose of an incubated for incubation programs that my startup should feel that they are the confidence about taking a bigger risk expansion key let's say if i say the my any startup who is looking to be expand the business in a in a different countries so they have enough confidence to be yes i can do this i can expand my business in a, in a 10 multi you know, cities or 10 countries together so this could be decreased down the line and value increase in your value in you know, creation as in a big large portion where the status are evaluated so value value is is should be increased the the by the, the time by the time you have you no know, growing up so this is a typical process now selection process is the important process because if i select a right startup in my incubator definitely all the things will happen value creation will happen and if is this happen i get a right brand image in this and positioning in the incubation innovation and entrepreneurship space and if i start onboarding anyone everyone so i definitely decline my brand value so this is a very crucial step then if i identified and onboarded right startups i need to be create a mature you know uh, programs to be trained groom and fulfill the requirement of the onboarder startup and down the line when they are able to be become enough mature uh, in the incubation so the journal the research says that the large uh, incubation period is three years maximum so in a three years any company could be should be graduated or uh, nowadays we have an incubation programs for two years too where the companies could be graduated from six months to in a two years and then the extension of it so the incubation programs are the another crucial portion where incubator manager incubator you know, team needs to be understand what kind of the requirement and how i can help the startup to be fulfill the requirement in a quick and lose it because see for an incubator there's a limited number of seats correct so this is uh, uh, this space is incubator is is is, is like in a icu units where all patients are not come right um or the host like the hospitals this is not the business center where i can onboard anyone everyone so i need to be understand that uh, whether uh the startups is really require the incubation assistance or not the similar happen in the industry where a person want to be stay in a hotel they can stay in a hotel at any any time length but they cannot go and lay down in a hospital just for the sake of enjoyment right so this is a right so incubators because uh, incubators can i cover this question so uh, in a, in, a, in a next slides right when i come to the uh, case study side i will help you to be understand in a better manner all right so uh, and the graduation is very important part if your startups are not graduating uh, it means your incubation programs uh, having certain challenges in it all right so this is a typical model for any startups or the accelerator accelerator do the similar thing they onboard the you help you to be 
grown up and then raise the money demo day and exit so incubation pro accelerator programs are uh, are only six months to one year but the uh, incubator programs are six months to two years three years now i'm moving towards you know a fair example by which you could understand that in a real world how the incubator is actually working correct so i taking the example of my own incubator because i i can answer you each and every query uh, in that slides dr das how much time i have now uh, you have about uh, 10 to 15 minutes all right so okay. uh, i will close you know uh, uh, in, a, in a similar similar times sure <laughs> thank you all right see uh, this a this is space is actually uh, the innovation of space and uh, i honestly am saying that uh, whatever i was doing 2000 in 2006 to 2010 15 i'm not doing today the kind of the incubation program i built out in during my first phase uh, this, that was very very generic very gen in journal but today i have built out a very special program uh, incubation program which uh, which we call it's an i3 model where uh, innovation incubation and industry these three key words we are no, uh, we are uh, engaged these uh, no, innovations incubations and the industry at the at the center of the one platform so uh, we are uh, the entity which is legally uh, three years old uh, but we started the incubation program in abs in 2015 uh, with a different name so i nature is a section 8 company which is a, a non profitable company and uh, that's that's why we are supported by ministry of electronics government of up and the ministry of education so our mission is very niche the mission is to be uh, people do not want to be a student do not want to be start the venture because they feel that the, there is a huge amount of risk engaged so our purpose is to be you know, reduce the risk and realize them that leave the pocket above the job multinational job you can you have a potential you can do uh, a better here in this space and you can live a life have which very happy all right so uh, how we actually support the students uh, here in abs so we have uh, a esel we have institution innovation council which is actually help them to be engage the student primarily and then we have aict idea lab which allow uh, a student to be convert their ideas into the uh, practical product into real product and then we have a incubation program where their innovations along with business model uh, with the legal entity onboarded over the incubation side so before someone join the incubation here in abs engineering college they they have an you know, option in for the inside in, uh, you know, students only they have an option to be join the uh, esl or the institution innovation council to be bring their idea mature one and or any individual from outside world they can directly join to aict idea lab program or the incubation program depends upon their need and their uh, requirement so we have here in abs uh, the first entrepreneurship program started in 2008 to 9 where the edc was there in entrepreneurship wn cell was there that purpose is to be only organize the sessions training programs for the students uh, now aware them to become the entrepreneur and all this was a very old one and the revive model which we started in 2000 you know, 15 16 where we have an incubation center supported by ministry of msme then we have engaged a dst in it uh, over a period of time we have uh, uh, funded by mighty startup of ministry of electronics and then this created a large number of pool of you know uh, innovations uh, entrepreneurship programs uh, startups and all around uh, you know uh, in a pcs and in a uh, you know the entrepreneurs in each department and wings so we have a three board of directors uh, uh, we our 
uh, 90% stake is in a hold by the AVS Engineering College and uh, uh, 10% stake is shared among the board of directors. We have a seed management committee which is chaired by my vice president but uh, coach and co chair by uh, Professor Pankaj Singh. He is in a, in a finance, uh, is a professor in uh, finance and accounting area from I am Lucknow. Uh, then we have a people from a state government side. Then we have the people from you know, incubator side, from the industry side and investor side. So we have created a mixed committee which decide uh, that uh, how the funding moves in this uh, domain. This is a typical incubation program. Now, what kind of the programs we have decided? So we have decided the three level of programs. The level one is a very very open level where institution innovation council generally works where uh, e-cell generally works i or the incubation portion you know place only very little amount of intervention in it so we do uh, programs and workshops specific to startups like uh, we do programs in a recently we have did a program in robotics where we engage the startups and innovators to build a you know, product around the area of robotics now uh, in a level two where uh, people who are interested to become the entrepreneurs only join. In a first level, anyone can join. In a level two, people who are really want to become the entrepreneurs can join. And in level three, where we organize a you know, cohort based program, it's a paid program along with funding. So we provide the angel investment up to the one CR, we provide go to market funding up to the 40 lakh rupees we provide grant and support up to the 15 lakh rupees from the government of india scheme so government of india uh, provide the funding assistance from uh, 1 rupees to uh, 20 lakh rupees under the seed money under the prototyping development programs let's say dst run a program called prayas mighty run which i which we run we we provide 7 lakh rupees for the prototyping for our like rupees for the uh, innovation from idea to proof of concept. Uh, similarly, Ministry of MSME provide 15 lakh rupees of granting net for the innovations. So these are the three primary program and then de Department of Biotechnology uh, is because medical domain, they provide up to 50 lakh rupees uh, of seed funding. <clears throat> this is our now uh, a co-incubation program initiative where we uh, provide you now assistance to newly institutions universities to start the incubation under our umbrella and over a period of time this incubation is you know, separated from our legal entity and they can run the incubation their you know, own so our first network innovation and incubation co-incubation program started in Nir nirjali nearest this is the uh, uh, institution of uh, central government under the himachal pradesh uh, anurachal pradesh where we have started supporting them to start the incubation in their uh, you know, system all right so these are the key partners over a period of time when we are maturing our processes model we are approaching to the government parallelly for our need so we have get any grant in aid and support from ministry of electronics around 1.7 cr from 1.89 CR from a state government and close to 85 lakh rupees from MITE and our own institution funding under the innovation program. Our key thrust areas is advanced manufacturing robotics, gaming, creativity industry and media technology, enterprise and AI. And we also run a program, a third sector where open innovation for high social, social value. So any innovation, any technological uh, innovation which has high social value or which is high demand in society creating impact necessity are our thrust area in this incubator so we have dedicated office spaces laboratories setups to be you know, used and fabricate uh, the you know your product separate meeting rooms you know uh, work stations to build the product these are the certain startups who are you know, uh, existing right now in an incubation center. They are the uh, government of India registered incubators, uh, startups. They have raised a grant in aid. Uh, they are the external, they are the alumni, they are the current student too. 
we have several startups who are graduated from this uh, incubation center and many of them are faculty too so uh, yes sandeep you want to ask sandeep shivam hello yeah shivam yes sir as my startup is in idea stage so how can i apply for incubation <clears throat> so you can directly apply to uh, you visit our website this called the inurture.net uh, there is a uh, link to be apply in a startup program you can do this or you can send the uh, mail through dr upesh sharma so that we can scrutinize process could be started as fast as possible because the online program has certain schedule monthly and uh, the mail if i receive or any deck i receive over my mail id which i can start the reviewing at the day you know today onward sir can you share your email id so that uh, i can share my startup id right. with you and you can tell me uh, sure sure this, i will share, share, in share in the last i shall okay. share in the last so these are the certain startups uh, in our portfolio who are, who are graduated some of them are doing well and i do not have any shame to say some of them are failed they closed down their business because of variety of reason the good thing in this with this program which we have initiated the faculty members ignited they also started the uh no startups here in my institution they are full time faculty here in abs engineering college running their startup in a evening they stay back here you na know, till 9 o'clock 10 o'clock to build their product and you now bringing the innovation to the society now what is uh, current situation the current position the several startup who has an you know, a uh, valuation up to 10 cr who raise a parallel funding from other sources of uh, investment who are you know where our i nurtures equity also there so i guess i am answering the question which someone ask about uh, that uh, what a startup what incubator charge yes incubator uh, charge uh, you know uh, rent incubator charge equity also in our model we are in a hybrid model where we charge uh where we charge a uh, small of amount of equity up to 5% where we also charge it you uh, know rent if you are using our office spaces we and do not create any kind of the mandate for anyone to be you now use the office space you uh, know here and pay any small uh, money to us we are more focusing on your convenience we are more focusing on your comfortable zone because we understand that you are the early stage uh you no know, star entrepreneur and you do not have a large enough, enough ample amount of money to pay as rent these are the several portfolio startups whom we have funded uh, a small amount with whom we have you know uh, supported uh, in all means from accessing of market and these are the in a, in a very different domains you know these are the startup which is in a on a drone segments we this is startup which is in a ev segment uh this is a startup you know again in a drone segment so we have multiple number of sara i i guess this is not here required you may visit our pages for this information yes so we have collaborated the partnership with the uh, number of you know uh, uh, in national and international programs to help my own startups let's say we have a partnership with mass work we have partner with prathvi ai we have partner with dassault system we have partner with texera this is a us based company in a supply chain and uh, we also in a close partnership with the uh, several incubators in iit kanpur iit mandi triple iit in gwalior and tbi these are the four five startups uh, incubators where we are close partnership we also in a partnership with the sidbi and kpmg uh, to help my own startups to be you now uh, show showcase their you know the, them into the national international platforms so visibility of startup is also you know required and uh, as a incubator manager we need to be create the model so that my startups could be go beyond to this all right i am skipping from this uh, this is aict idea lab so what we do in this, in this innovation programs we have all the fabrications uh, uh, machinery equipments which build any kind of the product beat robotics beat manufacturing machinery beat you uh, know any digital product you talk about anything we can build out here the first version able to be built out here 
right so uh, we have honored to be present uh, uh, presence in a, in a technology day at pragati madan so we also do lot number of so showcases as a part of you know incubator which allow us to be create a visibility one which allow my own startups to be create the visibility so my several startups who showcased in a in a technology way uh, my several students who are showcasing presenting their uh, the business models in the national international platforms we have in a startup who are winning you know awards uh, and getting recognition this this help us to be you now uh, create a right brand you now positioning in the market so this is a current you know uh, i guess you might know about the aria and national innovation uh, uh, ranking which is uh, recently released we are the consecutive maintain our position do not losing uh, try to achieving a better and better every year uh, with the support of the community and the centers <clears throat> right so this is the last slide uh, over to you dr das thank you very much uh, mr gupta for that very engaging and enlightening talk about accelerators and incubators and uh, the related aspects uh, indeed our students will be highly benefited from the interaction with you and accomplished and experienced mentor as yourself so um, can i invite uh, questions queries doubts from the students now yeah please yeah so if anybody has any questions or queries observations you may like to ask uh, mr gupta <coughs> you can raise your hands and i can call you one by one yes uh, sarup kumar please uh, unmute yourself and uh, yeah ask uh, sir a uh, morning to you sir good morning sir uh, see uh, these ideas and uh, you know everyone will be having an idea but is there a process of uh, you know you moderating it and giving an opportunity or uh, all the ideas are acceptable you know i i mean i am just trying to understand if i have a very grassroots level uh, idea and i approach you then uh, do i already need to have a proof of concept uh, ready with me uh, see it it is good to be if you are looking to be raise funding assistance and uh, uh, a quick response from the incubator and investor you have uh, to be go certain miles uh, beyond the idea so you if you your uh, idea is now in a stage of proof of concept or you already done the proof of concept then it's quite valuable for any incubator to be in a provide uh, the money and all assistance right right so uh, and you have poc it is not necessary sometime you know we you have a good idea so we have our own set of parameter to be assess an idea uh, i need to be only evaluate your idea is valuable for the society valuable for the supporting and whether you and your team is capable to be do it or not right and third one which is very difficult to be judge but i'm putting here the intent and the intention correct mm. so if so, all these things for three four things are matching definitely we we try to be you know bring you we have a very good startup in a very early stage right now and uh, see many of them we we never know they are not my students so someone is from galgotia someone is from amethi whom we are not know someone is from you know gujarat whom we are not know someone from the sr and chennai so we have a certain process and standard so that we evaluate a best one and then help them right so thank you sir thank you uh next person is lucky tips you have a name lucky what's your name please you may uh, sir yeah. sir uh, ma'am uh, mera naam rajesh rawat hai namaskar ma'am ha ha namaste bataiye uh, ji namaste sir uh, sir uh, mere paas ek business idea hai uh, e waste management ka तो उसके बारे में कुछ आप बताएंगे जैसे फंडिंग कहाँ से होगी या ट्रेनिंग ई वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट कर क्या रही है तो बताइए सर मैं स्टार्टअप के लिए उसमें इन्वेस्ट चाहता हूँ और अपना स्टार्टअप चाहता हूँ बट मुझे आइडिया नहीं है और मैं ट्रेनिंग भी लेना चाहता हूँ उसके लिए 
देखिए हम लोग जो है थोड़ा सा फॉरवर्ड स्टेज में काम करते हैं आ, हम लोग किसी भी डोमेन में आपको एंट्री के लिए ट्रेनिंग नहीं देते हैं करेक्ट सो so, हम तो ये एक्सपेक्ट हम लोग उनको हेल्प करते हैं जो कि ऑलरेडी ये डिसाइड कर लेते हैं कि मैं जो मैं ई वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट में ये काम कर रहा हूँ जी सो so, मेरी आप थोड़ा सा हमसे पहले वाले स्टेज में हैं आपके लिए बेस्ट uh, होगा कि आप किसी ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप डेवलपमेंट सेंटर में जाइए या फिर अगर आपने तय कर लिया है कि आपको ई वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट में काम करना है तो आपको उसमें क्या काम करना है और वो कितना नया है करेक्ट क्योंकि अगर जो आप काम कर रहे हैं वो 200-500 लोग और कर रहे होंगे तो फिर आप स्टार्टअप्स नहीं हैं जी स्टार्टअप्स की पहली डेफिनेशन यही है कि बॉस आपके काम में इनोवेशन होना चाहिए ओके okay. चाहे उस काम के करने के तरीके में या फिर जो प्रोडक्ट बना रहे हैं उसमें दोनों चीजों में कोई एक हेलो थैंक यू सर जी नम्रता जी बताइए सर uh, मैं एक्चुअली uh, ये जानना चाहती हूँ कि मेरा जो स्टार्टअप है वो एक्चुअली यूनिक ही है और एक दो जगह मैंने और इसके लिए uh, बात भी किया है मैं ये जानना चाहती हूँ सर कि बिफोर प्रेजेंटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ इंक्यूबेटर्स डू आई नीड टू हैव अ फुल टीम ऑफ फुल टीम एट माय साइड बिकॉज राइट नाउ आई एम करेंटली अलोन वर्किंग ऑन माई आइडियशन मैंने काफी सारे रिसर्च करके एक लेवल तक लाई हूँ तो इंक्यूबेटर्स के सामने प्रेजेंट करने के लिए डू आई रियली नीड अ होल बंच ऑफ टीम में अगर हमें पोटेंशियल होगा हमें अनुभव की क्षमता होगी तो हम खुद आपको बता देंगे निकाल करके की मैडम ये चीज इसमें इम्प्रूव करनी है ओके any kind of support or assistant related to it and i don't have any knowledge regarding that my idea is on uh, data collection uh, da- uh, related to data management but i don't have any relevant experience or knowledge on data management see uh, see this is not mandatory that you have team but uh, uh, it is always appreciate if you have a team but team cannot be created because of requirement because of eligibility so you can go it with your individual at the right point of time when you meet someone and you feel that your your heart say that this is the right one who but with whom i can partner with you create the team so you go ahead individually but you know move ahead with the no, idea to proof of concept and prototype okay okay so can i share my ideas with you personally as personal yeah. discussion please please in your in your me? yeah i'll share to you contact details mail id correct okay. correct thank you sir thank you so this brings us to the end of today's session and uh, i would like to thank our expert mr mahindra gupta for taking out valuable time from his busy schedule to mentor our students thank you mr gupta thank sir, you can you send your nice. email id so that yeah thank you thank you very much mahendra ji are sir namaskar bahut bahut shukriya consider you always as part of uh, you know <laughs> same as we, we we just look uh, forward to mahindra gupta ji that we will continue Because we have a different kind of expertise and experience, and we need this kind of guidance. And uh, regarding incubation, um, I'm trying to take some initiative. Uh, will it be possible to have a kind of MOU with the incubators, with your others? So in that case, uh, uh, the formalities can be reduced, can be minimized when our students are approaching any incubator. So sure. if that is possible, then we would like to explore the. Uh, it first with you, and then we can uh, expand it for the others also. So because you cannot have so many incubators throughout the country, okay. we have to use the uh, already existing facilities. And uh, in that context, I'll talk to you separately. So thank sure. you very much uh, for guiding students, and you have offered your um, unconditional support also. I have seen your number also is uh, there in chat, and I think you have mentioned. so they will be troubling you 
थैंक यू वेरी मच बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया सर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू नमस्कार बस नमस्कार सर थैंक यू सर डॉक्टर मोमिता अभी हम दो तीन मिनट का ब्रेक लेते हैं अनुप्रिया जी वेलकम फॉर दिस सेशन थैंक यू सर यस सो लेट अस टेक 